Commissioner, if what Sean said happened on the ice rather than off the ice in what looked like a premeditated manner, would that have been acceptable and would we even be talking about this today? If it happened on the ice and it, it, it had no involvement with it being publicly disseminated or any interaction with fans, we, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation because nobody would know about it. Uh, I think for anybody to equate public statements and fan interaction uh, with trash talking on the ice uh, would, would not be uh, an accurate thing to do. The, the reliability on the information you get from those conversations uh, obviously is a little more difficult here. It was simple because everybody heard it and saw the tape. Uh, there are lines that can be crossed on the ice, but we're talking about something completely different. In some odd, twisted way, is the publicity that Sean Avery creates good for the NHL? No, I, not in this case, for sure. Uh, when, when he is playing as well as he's capable of playing, when he's uh, exciting the fans who are watching uh, his team play well, uh, as he did, for example, with the Rangers last year, that's something else. But what, what's been covered the last few days isn't what we're selling. You've met with Avery before. Uh, Coley Campbell has met with Avery before. Are you confident that a six-game suspension is the message to send that maybe it will finally get through of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable? Well, there, there are a couple of things I need to say in response to that. Uh, he had been warned previously about being close to the line and crossing it, and here he clearly crossed the line. Uh, in addition to the six games, uh, Sean is going to undergo an evaluation for anger management, uh, and if there's a course of counseling that flows from that, he's going to be required to follow it. Uh, so in that regard, I think it's important that everybody knows that we've made a statement that what he said and did was inappropriate, but it's as important that uh, he deal with, with his conduct, which he'll be doing through the evaluation and, and perhaps subsequent counseling if that's what's prescribed. Uh, the punishment sends the right signal, but this is more about getting his attention and how he as a person moves forward. Was it Sean's idea for the counseling? Was it the NHL's idea for the counseling? Was it a mutual? Well, it, it's, some, it's something that, that he believed he needed and wanted to do, and it's something that I also believe was appropriate under the circumstances. Were you afraid uh, of something like this happening where he just, again, steps over the line? I mean, maybe did you see this coming from him? Well, when I met with him last spring, uh, I cautioned him that he was perilously close to the line on a number of examples and that it was a question of time uh, before he crossed it uh, if he wasn't more careful. And so uh, I'm, I'm not entirely surprised it got to this point. Uh, there was nothing until this point that we felt we could punish, either because the conduct didn't rise to that level or because we couldn't verify uh, in terms that would make us comfortable as a matter of due process that it actually happened. Do you anticipate the stars tacking on more? to the suspension? I, I don't know what the stars are going to do. Uh, I did what I felt was appropriate from a league standpoint and uh, you'll have to talk to the stars to see uh, what they have in mind. People will say six games sounds harsh for off-ice comments uh, when things that go on on the ice you know maybe get smaller. What do, you, what do you have to say? Well we talked about this in a previous question. I don't think you can compare uh, what goes on on the ice with what happens in a situation like this. Lines can be crossed on the ice and there have been times where players have been punished on the, for, for crossing the line on the ice with respect to what they've said. Uh, but in, in this case, and you have to look at every case on its own, we're comfortable that uh, not only did Sean cross the line, that he had been warned repeatedly about it. I don't know if six games is too harsh or too little it is what it is, and I think, at least based on everything I know, uh, and I suppose I'm privy to everything, perhaps more than most, uh, that this was the right balance. In a way, is this sending a message to league-wide, to everybody, of what's acceptable off the ice and, on, and what's acceptable on the ice? You know, that, that's a strange question because I don't think that's a message we need to send 
to players who, when it comes to how they conduct themselves, perhaps are the best in professional sports. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Thank you.